do not want to get bitten by one of these. They've got incredibly toxic, potent venom. Wouldn't kill me, but I would be out of action oh, for a week. <laughs> I'm Jack Randall. Oh, bam. See that? That was crazy cool. I'm finding every animal on the planet. Whoa. I'm in the wild. I think it's down here. Oh, Up close and personal. And a massive snake! Okay, there's, there's got to be an on my arm. This is just remarkable. Look at that. Reticulated python in the water. Come on, let's go. In today's mission, I'm about to come face to face with a creature so terrifying it feeds on scorpions and tarantulas. It really is that scary. Most animals I would have no trouble trying to get my hands on. Think about a big centipede if they have enough power and enough venom to be able to take on the big tarantulas. I'm not actually sure whether it's worth handling. Time to start searching for the giant scolopendra centipede. Come on, let's go. Centipedes are nocturnal predators. But during the day, they retreat into rotting tree trunks. So that's where I'll be focusing my search today. These logs here, it's still really moist. There'll be lots of perfect little nooks and crannies. I might be able to find something. The problem is for every log in every section of leaf litter, I reckon there's a 1% chance of finding what I'm after. Okay, not explaining this. What have I got here? Okay. I'll be careful, super careful. I think I know what this is. Oh. Oh, God. Okay, wait. Okay, okay. Woo! Wow! Look at that. Let's move out here in a nice area of the bush. Wow, I've got, I've got to be a little bit careful because this snake, highly, highly venomous. It's actually a coral snake. It's a McKellen's coral snake. Sometimes you just find little gems out in the rainforest. Highly venomous snake, but it's being extremely docile. You never know, it could put my finger too close to its mouth. It might just test bite and that would be bad news. People have died being bitten by the snake. It's actually got a very quite pointy little end of a tail as well, which is pointing into my finger. Quite small. You can see how thin it is. It allows me to burrow through this undergrowth. And you know what? Most of the time we'd be spending underground or in the leaflet, they never come out. And look at that coloration though. And that head is what is really quite characteristic about this snake. You couldn't really mistake it after looking at that head. And this is an absolute gorgeous specimen. I'm going to let this one go and see what else I can find. Time to keep searching. Hopefully I'll dig up a scolopendra centipede soon. See? Nah, nothing. Just some maggots. Centipede, big centipede. Wow, okay. Check this out. That is scary big. Oh, okay. Unbelievable. Okay, this is a giant scolopendra centipede. Oh. You do not want to get bitten by one of these. They've got incredibly Toxic, potent venom. Wouldn't kill me, but I would be out of action oh, for a week. Ah! They're so scary. They're so scary. Certainly. Ooh. Oh man. Okay. This is actually what I've been after. I've been trying to look for one of these for ages. They're extremely painful, the sting of these centipedes. 
they use that venom in order to kill their prey. The thing is, these centipedes, their power of their venom can actually overpower really quite big animals. They'll take on anything in the invertebrate world. Scorpions, big millipedes, and also can even take some mammals. So if a little mouse came along, even a bird, it would take that on. It's extremely potent. Look at the end there, you can see, that's the nasty end, where there's two fangs, they're modified legs. You see them right in the front of its head. It's that, it's that first pair of legs, modified legs, that turned into fangs. And in those long things here, there are the antennae. It uses that to sense the environment. That is really quite a cool specimen as well, those red legs. The coloration is like a lot of animals out here. It's showing, I'm really venomous, don't touch me because I'm quite brightly colored. Often, a very venomous animal will want to show to a potential predator that actually, it's not worth taking on. But funny enough, a little soldier termite is taking on an absolute whopper. I don't know why on earth you'd ever take that on. Ugh. Really don't want to let this guy onto my hand. Oh. Always want to push back like a little bit. Normally I would actually try and free handle any animal that won't kill me, that would cause a lot of pain. But I do not think it's worth risking this. I'd be out of action for such a long period of time that I wouldn't be able to go around looking for other animals. So this one deserves a lot of respect, it makes me so nervous, much more than any spider or, or scorpion. It's just so not worth it. Let me tell you something. I've been a bit too close for comfort with a few recent wildlife encounters, and the temperament of this animal poses a new set of risks. Let's take a closer look of him here, on the safety of the bark. But look at this hard exoskeleton. They're extremely powerful, robust little animals. Much more powerful than you can possibly imagine. The other thing is, they might even lose their legs. They can actually regenerate their legs. They have an exoskeleton, they molt. They molt that exoskeleton every now and again, and they'll regenerate a leg if it's been lost, if it's in another battle with another centipede. They're actually very useful in the ecosystem. They are predators. So, being the biggest predator in this world, they actually manage the invertebrate population below. I love seeing the apex predators. Well, there you go. The giant Scolopendra centipede. It's one animal that I haven't actually handled because it's got such an excruciating bite, but it'll take on any of the invertebrates, including the most powerful scorpions. Giant Scolopendra centipede, yes. Danger. It's subjective in the animal world. The risk level is something I calculate with every potential dangerous encounter. Weighing up its temperament, its size, the strength of venom, or how remote I am. And I think that was a good decision today.